this is uh, uh, this isn't a video of my cat I'm just looking at it and thinking how wonderful life must be to have that little stress that you can just sit there and do that fantastic wouldn't it be no worries about where the money's going to come from to paint the freaking motorbike but anyway this isn't a video about my cat as I said it's like a right mess at the back end here I know um, but it's done it just needs tidying up a little bit okay so that's all sorted out uh, the next thing we need to do is paint and so the next video is going to be a little while I'm afraid to say uh, because a, two, two reasons one I'm away on holiday for a couple of weeks in a week so I've got um, I won't get any time to do the bike but mainly or not mainly as well as that uh, paint is the next order of the day and I don't have any money this month for paint uh, I need to go up now nah, excuse the mess I know it's terrible here at the minute I will tidy next time you see a video it'll be nice to tidy again in here but I've just been needling on with the thing uh, where was I paint yet yeah, paint so we got to get some paint done we need some money to get some paint done I've got to go up and see the man at the at the paint shop and see how much he's going to charge me for doing paint for the tank and the seat unit and everything else because I really need the bits painted now because I need to mount some bits to the seat unit and that kind of stuff okay so we are there um, what else was I going to say yeah well I'm going to go and see him this week get a price um, whilst we are waiting for the paint or waiting to save up some money for the paint side of it what I've got left, oh dear, excuse me, what I've got left then, or what I am doing now, is the seat unit. I showed you the sewing machine before. Uh, I got this, uh, well probably quite a while ago now, I bought this sewing machine with a view to doing the seat, and that was the only reason I bought it. And I've just been trying to get to grips with it, and I've been faffing around and trying different threads and uh, different sewing techniques and everything else. I have found out two things. One, I can't sew round corners with this thing, uh, so there's going to be a bit of hand stuff going on. And the other thing is, uh, I can't sew in a straight line either. So <laughs> the seat's going to be interesting. But I, you know, I said all along I'm really looking forward to it, and I am looking forward to it. I, I know how I'm going to do it now. I've been practicing and trying lots of different things. Uh, all of this stuff here. This is uh, my old sofa. When we threw away the sofa, I tore all of the leather off it so I'd have something to practice with, which is what I've been doing. And I think I'm sorted on how I am going to do it. I've bought, I've bought this uh, absolutely glorious leather jacket here. And it, to be fair, it's a bit criminal to cut it up because this is what I'm going to use for... Um, making my seat. Now it won't be massively hard wearing, but to be fair, it's only gonna be a Sunday bike. So it's just about the look rather than anything else. So I'm gonna cut that thing up and, and try and make a seat with it. So I'm gonna do that whilst I'm saving up some money because it won't cost me anything to do that part of it now. Uh, yeah, that's it. Life's good. Bike's good. She's looking awesome at the minute I know it doesn't look like it to you uh, but when you take a step back and look at it she's looking brilliant at the moment what else what else uh, so uh, this is going to be an advert for the the, the two rider sale up in Nettlebed in Oxfordshire which is sort of relatively close to where I live I've got to say if you're in the area and you've never been to it you've got to give it a go it's unbelievable I bought that thing for about 20 quid I bought my leather jacket up there, that was only 15 quid. Um, I bought, as well, there's some lovely ladies up there and they know exactly what they're talking about. I must have got 40 reels of cotton, I reckon, near on 40 reels of cotton, pair of scissors, some needles, all of that stuff, thimbles, uh, tape measure, magnifying glass, loads of sewing stuff to stock up my sewing kit. Um, tenner. Tenner for the lot. It's unbelievable, really. 
Uh, so that's good. Okay, so bike is in this state. Looks bad, it's not bad at all. Um, we're doing the seat, that's our next job. We're saving up some money for the paint. So then, preparation doesn't cost anything. So I've been preparing this stuff ready for paint. Look at this tank. I'm loving the look of a, of a, of a aluminium tank on there. I reckon it makes it look like an old Triton or something like that. Fantastic. So, tank is rubbed down. Uh, the seat unit has been rubbed down. The front mud guard is rubbed down. The fairing is rubbed down. So everything is actually ready for paint now. I've been to speak to the guy who's going to do the paint for me. And he's done me a deal that I can just about afford. Well, I can't this month, so it's going to be a little while yet anyway. But he's in no rush to do it. So I'm going to try and get it up to him before I go on holiday. And what he's going to do, he's going to uh, give everything a sort of like a primer coat. And then if it needs rubbing down more, he's going to give it back to me to rub down so I can do all of the donkey work. And this way it keeps the price down. When that's done, he's going to put the base coat on it. And then he's going to give it all back to me. Uh, and I'm going to do whatever I want to do to it. And then he's going to take it back and he's going to lacquer over the top of everything. Ooh, so that's our plan. Now I reckon I've probably just lost about two stone in sweat rubbing all this stuff down. It's taken me about three days to do it, uh, but it's all done now as much as I can do it. And so I'm gonna take it into work uh, uh, Friday, drop it off of him on the way home on Friday. My mate, who has another one of these, wants to try this tank on his bike just to see what it looks like bare back. Cause he's thinking about leaving, making his tank like this and leaving it like this. So if, we, if I've got my phone on me, if we do it on, on Friday, I'll give you a quick little video of his bike and you can see what this looks like um, on his bike. Okay, so that's that. Uh, how did I take the paint off of this? I did it with uh, a paddle wheel on that very, very carefully. Took the top of the paint off. I got all of the paint back and then smoothed it down further with a, a, a little mouse. And I've gone down to around about 180. 180 grit and he's going to deal with the rest of it hopefully so like I say I'll give it to him Friday and uh, I'm away for a couple of weeks then and then I'm away with work and all sorts of things so the next video will be a while not because um, not for any other reason uh, for but time that I'm not here really and you know don't tell him this he'll never watch this video but I can't actually afford to pay him for the paint at the minute anyway so I'm getting to get him to do it and then uh, hopefully I'll have the money by the time he's actually finished it if not, I might sell one of the kids. They're being a bit of a pain in the ass at the minute. So yeah, I think I might get rid of one of those. Got worth a few quid to someone. Uh, so yeah, job done, job doing. I, I might put another video on because I'm gonna, while I'm, while I'm waiting for this lot to be done, getting some money up together and everything else, I am gonna continue on with the, um, uh, with the seat. So we've had a couple of goes at making the seat. It's gone wrong a couple of times, but then that's standard, isn't it, for, for me? Uh, we have to have a few failures before something actually works. So we'll be back on that. And uh, yeah, we'll get back to you as soon as I can. Say hello, Dave. Hello. That's my bike. This is Dave's pile of crap. Um, so my tank is Better just... Than a cafe racer. Yeah, whatever. What would improve this no end would be a fairing and a, a, a single shot conversion, obviously. Um, so my tank is on the way to be painted uh, at the minute, or I'm going to drop off tonight. Uh, this is my new cap, by the way. Lovely. Um, and so Dave wanted to try this on his bike just to see what it actually looked like, see if it improved it. Uh, to be fair, anything will improve this piece of rubbish. Skip, probably. Uh, this is his old tank. Or his tank off his bike. I have to say, looking at it, I think I actually prefer his old tank. He's got some nice paint on that. It looks pretty good on the bike. But anyway, this is a, a, a quick look at his thing. Yeah, yeah, crap seat. Yeah, fantastic tank. Crap wheels, crap forks, crap headlight. Good engine, crap exhaust, crap tyres, number plates are right. 
uh, crap rear suspension, crap front brakes, crap oil cooler. Yeah, it's just crap, really. Actually, don't tell him, but I, I really like this thing. Uh, I, I, I think maybe when, when, when mine's all said and done, I might build one of these, because I like the styling, and it's a lot more comfortable than mine, that's for sure. Anyway, enough of his thing, let's get back to mine. Okay, so next job is, next job is, get the scissors out and cut this up. That's gonna hurt. Dear, oh dear. I think I might wear it out a couple of times first, just, you know, just because. 